Kestrels can be found on every continent except Antarctica, but in Central Europe the only species we have is the common or Eurasian kestrel, Falco tinnunculus. In areas where such prey is available, the vast majority of their diet is made up of small mammals, uh, mice, voles and so forth. But the species is, if nothing else, incredibly adaptable. Where they live on islands and small mammals are hard to come by, they can be found eating birds or other suitably sized vertebrates like bats and lizards. They are incredibly strong and agile flyers. In particular, their ability to hover in midair in really quite strong wind conditions is nothing short of astonishing. Even with that strength, why work if you don't have to? If it is too windy for the birds, they will just perch and wait it out. They have adapted well to living alongside humans. Many individuals will nest in and around towns and cities, can amazingly often be found hunting alongside roads and motorways. Kites are another species of poetry bird found across the world, and again, very few species of those remain in mainland Europe. The red kite is one of those species, and by comparison to the kestrel, is absolutely enormous. Whereas the kestrel weighs in at up to 300 grams or so, a female adult red kite can weigh 1.3 kilos, and they are scaled accordingly. With all of that increase in power though, most of their diet still consists of small mammals, uh, not mice, voles and shrews, although they have also been known taking young hares and rabbits. They'll also feed on carrion if it's available. They'll take live birds, reptiles, amphibians and even earthworms being an important part of the diet. Amazingly though, with all of that size and power, they don't get it all their own way. Here you can see a common crow much smaller than the kite in question, clearly chasing it away. The barn swallow, or swallow as it's more commonly known across Europe, is the most widespread species of swallow in the world. Their total range is over 251 million square kilometers. So it is perhaps unsurprising that we find them so frequently in and around human habitation. Weighing in at just 22 grams at the heaviest, they are astonishingly lightweight. And this may be what gives them their incredible agility. When you couple a low mass with a high wingspan, you get an incredible ability to power through the air and perform acrobatic turns. Young barn swallows grow incredibly quickly. The youngest chicks shown in these clips are just a few days old, if not younger, and the oldest, fully fledged, are just 23 days. Once the fledglings leave the nest, they'll spend another week or so with their parents before striking out on their own. To form their own partnerships and sing their own songs, hopefully with slightly less musical accompaniment. You don't have to travel far outside of a town and city to find bird species that have been adapted to a more unique style of living, shall we say. And perhaps no bird is more uniquely adapted to its lifestyle than the woodpecker family. The great spotted woodpecker is widespread across Europe and Asia, but the European green woodpecker as the name implies, is endemic to the region and extends only very marginally beyond it. 
While both species are our least concern on the IUCN conservation list, they are still relatively rare to see, although they can commonly be heard hammering on trees either for communication or to excavate holes for nesting or feeding. And like all woodpeckers, these individuals have the same tongue that wraps around their entire skull from the back in order to provide some impact protection whilst they're hammering on the tree. The white stork is found across Central Europe and is immediately notable, both for its large size and for its striking red legs and red beak. They're not resident in Europe, however, they only visit for the breeding season. And once they're finished and the fledglings are ready to fly, they will depart on their frankly epic journey to the African continent. Some individuals have been recording migrating from Central or even Northern Europe all the way down to the Southern Cape of South Africa. Breeding season, a pair of stork will either build or return to a previously built nest that can weigh up to 250 kilos and be up to two meters in diameter. These nests are built in somewhat unusual locations on occasion, and we have seen examples of nests built in churches, on power pylons, and in this particular instance, on the chimney of a factory, thankfully now defunct. Their method of communication and courtship is to clatter their bills at one another, and if you don't know what you're listening for, it is quite an unusual sound as it echoes throughout the valleys of the Black Forest. In flight, there's nothing that looks quite like them. With a wingspan of up to 215 centimeters and a body length of 115 centimeters, they're one of the largest things you'll see flying in Europe, short of a plane. The slightly smaller, but no less carnivorous gray heron can also be found across Central Europe, although their range also extends into South Africa, Asia, Indonesia, and there have been a few individuals noted possibly breeding in South America. So like the white stork, they are an apex predator in aquatic ecosystems. Fish, amphibians, crustaceans and insects are all regular parts of the diet. They have been observed catching and killing juvenile water birds, ducklings and coots, for example. And in rare instances will also take small mammals such as water voles, rats or even stoats. This particular individual, however, was not the most accomplished hunter. It may have been young or just having a bad day, but it could not catch a break or a fish. The herons and storks, of course, don't have the waterways to themselves. They share it with all sorts of other waterbird species, including great crested grebes or the common coot, shown here, failing at eating a mollusk. You can also find a turtle, uh, the European pond turtle specifically, also known helpfully as the European pond terrapin, and the European pond tortoise, which I suppose at least covers all eventualities.
other charismatic species, surprisingly so in some cases, include the European wall lizard, shown here doing an excellent boy band impression, and the black squirrel. These striking, if perhaps unnecessary, gothic creatures are probably among my favourite mammals spotted and filmed in Europe.